you know, there. Are, I hope that uh, my my comments here come not. I mean, we've we've we certainly have been critical of the position today in question period. You heard each and every one of the members that stood during question period in the New Democratic Caucus criticize the government on this bill singularly. It was the only thing we focused on today. Um, so the need to be critical, I think, has been expressed. I want you to actually think about the real pitfalls, the real precedent you are setting here in this province because it won't be long. That is my final question. At the end of my notes here, I, I work by notes. Right here I've got who's next? Who is next on the list? When will the next massive corporate company come knocking on the door, check in hand? Is it it could be anyone. And and what, what you're telling corporate Ontario is that we're open to the highest bidder. We've got fundraisers galore. Let's see the checks roll out because if you want your collective agreement and you want your bargaining rights eliminated, guess what? We've done that before. We can do it again. And we're happy to do it. And we've got a willing partner in the PCs. That's what you're doing here. It is absolutely a travesty. And, and, and it doesn't help the province of Ontario. What could help is to see a government stand up and say, you know what? We're going to help our domestic uh companies, our, our, our provincial uh, companies, by ensuring that they have you know, a good willing partner in infrastructure, stable infrastructure funding. We're going to help them by fighting uh, uh, agreements, trade agreements like the, uh, the comprehensive economic uh, trading agreement with the European Union. We're not going to let massive multinationals come in and, and eat up even you know, large corporations like Alice Dine. We're not going to do that. We understand the value of domestic procurement. We understand the value of domestic partners. We can do that. But what you're saying is we'll go right to the worker. We can cut them off at yeah. the knees. Not a problem. I look forward to hearing the members of the Liberal Caucus, because I know the members of the Tory Caucus will proudly say we did this for the business. We did it. We helped them out. We helped Ellis Don out. They're unabashed. That's why I, I can't be critical of them. It's, it's a part of their agenda. But I look forward to standing in union halls across this province, around this province, with, and I'll, I'll go in tandem with my Liberal friends and talk about who actually stands up for the rights of workers in this province and stands up for the rule of law. You know? Who does that? But do, or, or, or who's willing to relinquish uh, the, the historic rights of workers who's willing to sell themselves out, and that's what it is, Mr. Speaker. It is one of the biggest sellouts that we've seen. I caution the members across the way, don't be sellouts. Regain that respect, regain that trust. You're making a massive mistake here. Many of you might not know it, but it should be clear to you now with the information that you have in front of you. You can turn this thing around. We've given you the space to do that through the motion presented by my friend from Timmins, James Bay. I urge you to take that advice and do it. Thank you.